All right, we got this playhouse that is in real nice shape. And this is gonna be my chicken coop. We're gonna take this from my nephew's place. He doesn't want it anymore. It's a big eyesore out in front of his, his place. And we are gonna fix it up real nice and chickens are gonna love it. Lots of room inside, super high ceilings, very well built. Two by fours on the wall, two by six construction on the on the roof and on the floor. It is about six by nine. It's about the dimensions of it. Especially like the roof line, the way that pitch is, it looks like a definitely like a little house and then that big window chickens are gonna love that too so definitely got some work to do here I'm gonna tear this lattice off the bottom here and get rid of the the railing the little deck that's along the side tear that apart and then we're gonna come in here with the tractor and we're gonna try to lift this thing up and haul it to my place which is about four miles away and hopefully that all goes well <laughs> we definitely considered using the tractor to haul it to my house but as you can see here the trailer worked out great it just barely slid inside the 4x4 post and actually uh, we had to wedge it a little bit to get it to slide by but once we got it in the trailer backed in far enough over the rear axles. We put some tires with some rims on it to give it some cushion and somewhere to fall. And then we cut the post and it went right on the trailer. Then we strapped her down and hauled it away. It's gravel roads the whole way, and we were able to get up to 30 miles an hour easy, and it rolled really smooth. I was originally designing a chicken coop that I was going to construct myself, but after this one became available and I looked at it, it was a no-brainer that I would take this one and use it.
I'm pretty upset we didn't get any footage of actually unloading it. I was too busy helping with that whole process. And it took all hands on deck to get it off the trailer. But that whole thing went actually pretty well too. And with like eight people lifting on a side, it it uh, it came off pretty well. We were able to take the chains and the straps off and basically just put a couple 4x4s down on the ground so it barely touched and uh, jacked up the sides a little bit, kicked the tires out and dropped it down and just drove this trailer straight out. <laughs> 